Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound, magnesium sulfate. So let's work from left to right, and then we'll get the formula. So the first thing I see is magnesium. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where magnesium is, and magnesium is right over here, right? Magnesium is represented by an Mg, and magnesium being in group 2, right? All group 2 are metals, they're called alkaline earth metals, and they all share a common oxidation charge of being a plus 2. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do over here. Magnesium has a plus 2 charge. Now I come over to the next part. It says that it's a sulfate and ATE endings, guys. Remember, ATE endings, are they found on the periodic table? No, they're not. They're polyatomic ions. So for the sake of this video, I wrote down what sulfate is, but you guys probably have to memorize it for your class. So flashcard it out, write it down, do whatever you got to do to just memorize that sulfate is always going to be an SO4 with a negative 2 charge. Now since I have both components, we do this little trick where we take the charges and we crisscross them down to just get uh, the number of each component that I, that I need. So this plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two sulfates, and then this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two magnesiums. When you do this crisscrossing, don't worry about the charges. They kind of go bye-bye. And when you do your crisscrossing, you don't have to worry about the charges down here. We're just using them as counting numbers. Now, here's the thing. If you see that you have a number that's the same and it's greater than 1, you have to simplify it by division. Remember, ionic compounds always want to be in their most simplified form. So if this was 2 and 2, you got to simplify it. 3 and 3, 4 and 4 you have to simplify them. So if I just divide each one by two, I can get a, a lower number, a more simplified number. In this case, it's going to be one. Now I'm ready to write my formula. So I got magnesium, Mg. I only have one of them, so I don't have to write the one. And the same thing goes for the polyatomic sulfate. I only need one of them, so I don't have to write this one, and I don't need a parenthesis. So I could just write SO4. And now I'm done. So magnesium sulfate is just MgSO4. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. And I thank you so much for, for that. I appreciate you all. And let's keep rocking and rolling. Let's keep crushing you know, our tests and our quizzes. I believe in you guys. And I will see you in future lessons. All right, bye-bye.